Hello class, what's up? It's Raj here. So today we are discussing about the class A. The chapter name is Reproduction in Animals. We are talking about this chapter. So what is the first concept we are talking about? The concept is first is class reproduction. What do you mean by it? Reproduction. The process by which the parents produce their offspring is called reproduction. This is the very simple thing that we are bet on. So if the parents produces its offspring, not similar to themselves, others will be happening in that particular way, is known as reproduction. Next class, what is the types of reproduction? If you are talking about the type of reproduction, there are two types of reproductions class. Sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction. So, there are only two types of reproduction class. First we call sexual reproduction, second we call asexual reproduction. What do you mean by the sexual reproductions class? Sexual reproduction may be the defined as the fusion of male and female gamete. When the male gamete combined with the female gamete, it is known as sexual reproduction in a simple form class. After that, what do you mean by the female reproductive organ? Ovaries, oviducts, and uterus are the example of the female reproductive organ. Okay, next. So, these are coming female reproductive organs. What is the example of it class? Ovaries, oviduct and uterus is the example of female reproductive organs. So, what is the next question class? Male reproductive organ, testes, sperm ducts and penis are the example of the male reproductive organ class. So, in exam, there is a ask the many question about it. What do you mean by the female reproductive organs and male reproductive organs? Or there is examples are come under in it. So what is the difference between it? You can see in the NCRT book. After that, ova. What is ova class? Ovary produces the female gametes called ova. If we're talking about, okay. So the concept of ova is very easy class. What do you mean by it? Ovary produces the female gamete is called ova. And what is the sperm class? Testis produces a male gamete that is called sperm. So, without the fusion of sperm and the ova, that is not possible to make a fusion. And after the fusion, the offspring present in that particular way are they. So, what is fertilization? The fusion of ova and sperm is called fertilization and fertilized egg is called zygote. After the fertilization, zygote will be formed. What is the happen class? When the male and female gamete combine, the fertilization happen. After the fertilization happen, fertilized egg will be formed. And after fertilized egg will form, this is form also the zygote class. So these are the classification in a simply manner that we could say that what is the process of fertilization including are there. After that, internal fertilization, what do you mean by it? So fertilization takes place inside a female body is called internal fertilization and what is the external fertilization fertilization takes place outside the female body it is called external fertilization in internal fertilization the fertilization that is takes place inside a body for example human hen cow and dog these all are come under in internal fertilization but in a case of external fertilization the case is very different class how this is different so, the fertilization takes place outside the female body is called external fertilization. Frog, fish and starfish come under in it. So, class, this is the overlook and over examples of the reproduction chapter. I hope you understand the concept behind it. Of the all internal fertilization, external fertilization including other. Thank you so much.